13 of the most dramatic and unbelievable snooker last frame moments. From huge title match comebacks to outrageous flukes, let's start with number 13, Peter Ebden sinks Hendry's hopes to win the 2002 World Championship. We start our countdown with Peter Ebden's Houdini act in the 2002 World Snooker Championship final. Leading 10-6 against Stephen Hendry, Hendry produced an heroic effort to level into 17-17 in the deciding 35th frame. Incredibly, Ebden got the snookers he needed before clearing from red to brown to snatch an 18-17 victory. The Embassy Champion of the World, 2002. Number 12, Peter Ebden leaves the jewels open in the 2006 World Final. Oh, he's left it all with the jaws of the pockets. If Ebden was Snooker's great escape artist, he was on the receiving end of an equally unbelievable finish four years later. Facing Graham Dot in the 2006 World Championship final, Dot led 15 7 in the 23rd frame. A valiant effort from Ebden pushed Dot to the brink before clearing up from the green to black for an unbelievable steal as Dot roars on. Number 11, in the semi-final of the tournament that year, saw Ebden in a deciding frame battle against Marco Fu. Can only pray it, there's nothing 23. you can do about this at the moment. This would be Marco's first semi-final appearance at the World Championships. He would wait another 10 years to see another semi-final. In a hard-fought battle, Ebden's emotions took over as he seemingly looked like he was in tears whilst potting the pink ball. Entering number 10, Ronnie O'Sullivan's clear forces Ali to concede to clinch the 2008 World Championship. Ronnie O'Sullivan's awe-inspiring clearance ability means no frame against him is safe. Carter broke down on 41 in the 2008 World Championship when O'Sullivan led Ali Carter 14-7, heading into the 22nd frame. Needing two more frames for victory, O'Sullivan's clearance ability went into overdrive. O'Sullivan cleared from the pink to the black to complete an astonishing win. If you think that was a tense final frame moment, stay tuned for what we have next at number nine. Number nine, Mark Williams beat Stephen Hendry on the black in the 1998 Masters final. That's in, is it? No! It will be this time. Stephen Hendry and Mark Williams have played out some all-time classic sneaker finals. Their 1998 Masters final arguably trumped them all in the drama stakes. In a deciding frame, Williams broke down on 56, leaving Hendry a chance. After some safety exchanges, Hendry eventually had the black for the title. Unbelievably, he wouldn't take his opportunity, leaving Mark Williams with his Dennis Taylor moment. Number eight, classic kick drama for a place in the 2015 World Snooker Final. He's got a kick. He's got a horrendous six. As Stuart Bingham and Judd Trump enter the deciding frame from a well-battled semi-final match, the stakes increase even higher. As Stuart increases the deficit between him and Judd by slowly clearing the table, Trump is forced to concede after his safety shot. Well, Joe. Scooping in 19. Number seven, final frame drama, as in Welsh Open. What a fluke. The 1997 Welsh Open snooker semi final featured a thrilling showdown between two of the game's rising stars, Mark King and Mark Williams. Both in their early 20s, these talented cueists were hungry to claim their first major title. The match was closely contested with the score tied at five frames apiece going into the decisive final frame. Meanwhile, King took a massive step forward, announcing his arrival as one of Snooker's new leading men. 5-3. 15. It was called at 5 all. Number six, the rocket launches deciding frame 147 brilliance. <laughs> 
Okay, there may be a chance this... Snooker legends Ronnie O'Sullivan and Mark Selby clashed in an epic 2007 UK Championship semi-final that culminated in a dramatic deciding frame. With the score knotted at 8-8, O'Sullivan stepped up, needing a frame-winning break. Faced with the pressure, he responded with the pinnacle of cue mastery, a breathtaking maximum 147 break. Flawlessly clearing the table, O'Sullivan potted the final black to claim an unforgettable victory in the face of his tenacious rival. This magnificent maximum in the last frame demonstrated why the mercurial O'Sullivan is considered one of snooker's most talented stars. Against Selby, a defensive master, O'Sullivan unleashed his creative genius to author a historic triumph in thrilling fashion. Number five, epic clearance clinches Higgins' classic master's thriller. The 2006 Masters final between John Higgins and Ronnie O'Sullivan gave snooker fans an all-time classic finish. With the match deadlocked at nine frames each, these two modern greats battled into a dramatic deciding frame. Despite the immense tension, O'Sullivan threatened a counter-attack. Higgins pulled off an incredible series of pots. This gritty 10-9 victory demonstrated Higgins' poise under the highest pressure, cementing his place among Scotland's snooker elite by conquering one of the sport's greatest. Watching, got a great buzz out of it. Um, this is one of the few genuine occasions where you can say... Number four, a clash of two snooker titans, Judd Trump and Neil Robertson, battled into a dramatic deciding frame in the 2019 Champion of Champions final. With a stacked score of nine frames apiece, Trump and Robertson dazzled. Robertson seemed in control early on, and it was a steely Robertson who held firm, potting a nerveless final black to clinch a hard-fought 10-9 victory and cap a magnificent tournament run with a 1-4-7. With a 137 total clearance, he becomes champion of champions. Number three, Kieran Wilson and Anthony McGill produced one of Crucible Theatre's most dramatic deciding frames. With the mental and physical toll immense, after nearly three days of play, the score agonisingly level at 16-16, Wilson and McGill steeled their focus for one final frame. Neither player deserved to lose this Herculean battle of wills. Oh, it stayed out. After a mistake from McGill left the balls awkwardly placed, Wilson courageously cleared up to finally clinch victory 17-16. Overcome with raw emotion, tears flowed from both cueists in a touching display, underscoring Snooker's blend of intense competition and camaraderie at the highest level. Number two, in the 1994 World Championship final, Stephen Henry aimed to capture his fifth straight Crucible title against crowd favourite Jimmy White. The two fierce rivals went toe-to-toe -to -toe in an instant classic filled with pulsing drama Hendry would cement his place in history with an era-defining victory as Hendry narrowly prevailed 1817 for his fourth world crown. Though White was devastated in defeat. That he's the best player in the world. He's Embassy World Championship. He's won by 80... We've seen outrageous flukes, brilliant clearances and unbelievable fightbacks. But for the number one greatest last frame snooker moment of all time, we had to return to the most memorable final black of all time. If you like this video, don't forget to like and subscribe as we announce number one. Number one, Dennis Taylor sinks iconic final black against Steve Davis in the 1985 World Championship. Dennis Taylor's 1817-1985 Crucible win over Steve Davis just had everything. The underdog prevailing late into the night, outrageous tension, incredible drama from the two titans, and of course, that commentary and celebration after Taylor downed that famous final black right down the middle pocket to seal snooker immortality. Perfect snooker fairy tale. Dennis that concludes our countdown of the top 13 most incredible snooker last frame finishes. Moments that stunned fans, brought players to tears and left commentators speechless at the drama. Make sure to subscribe for more snooker videos and let me know your favourite last frame thriller in the comments below.